Hello and welcome to the Study Active YouTube channel. My name is Hannah and I've recently caught up with Study Active Assessor and Personal Trainer Rebecca Island to ask her top tips on how to lose weight. A common question asked by clients to personal trainers is how can I lose weight? Whilst this is a popular question, there is a lot of variables involved in losing weight safely and effectively. Let's hear Rebecca's top tips on how to lose weight. So the first question I asked Rebecca is what is the most effective way to lose weight? Rebecca answered, to put it simple, the most effective way to lose weight is to reduce what you eat and move your body more. Although if it was that easy, why are around two thirds of the English population aged 16 and above overweight or obese? This was quoted from the NHS 2023. Firstly, you need to get your nutrition right. And secondly, combine this with exercise. You could spend hours exercising in the gym, but if you are still eating more than you should be, then you are not going to lose weight. You may have heard the saying, you can't out-train a bad diet, and this is 100% true. To lose weight effectively, you need to be in a calorie deficit and exercise at least three times per week as a minimum. Next, I asked Rebecca, what are her top tips on how to lose weight? Rebecca answered, my biggest tip on losing weight is doing it gradually and be patient. You are not going to lose weight overnight. Firstly, get your calories right. A male should be consuming 2,500 calories a day and a female should be consuming 2,000 calories per day just to be able to function. When we think about calories, we don't often realise that our body uses calories all day, every day. We burn calories when we are sat and even when we are asleep because our body uses energy, otherwise known as calories, to work and function properly day in, day out. To be in a calorie deficit, you need to do this safely and effectively. This should be done by being mindful of what you eat and making healthy choices. Making small changes to begin with, like changing refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, white wraps, white rice, white pasta, white potatoes, to complex carbohydrates, such as wholemeal bread, wholemeal wraps, wholemeal pasta, and sweet potatoes. The benefits of eating complex carbohydrates over refined carbohydrates is that they are easier to digest. They also provide fibre, which is good for our digestive system, and they help keep you fuller for longer, preventing us from overeating or snacking unnecessarily. Another important nutrition tip to lose weight is to keep processed foods to a minimum, or if possible, completely eliminate them from your diet. A good example of processed foods are things like crisps, cakes, ice creams and chocolate. By swapping these for more complex carbohydrates and fresh cooked meals containing lots of nutrients and vegetables will be a big game changer when it comes to losing weight. Try to swap unhealthy snacks for things like fruit, vegetables, and make sure you're eating because you're hungry and not because you're bored. If you're hungry, you'll eat the apple. If you're bored, you probably won't. A useful tool when losing weight is to follow the NHS Eat Well plate. It's a tool designed to help people make healthier choices. It helps you understand how much and of what sort of things you should be eating. It also helps to ensure you are eating a healthy and balanced diet. Rebecca's top tips on how to lose weight continued, this time discussing exercise. My biggest tip for burning calories in terms of exercise is to find something you enjoy. And again, make this a lifestyle change and a hobby, not a chore. The government recommended guidelines say an adult should aim to do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity a week or 75 minutes of vigorous intense activity a week. Moderate intensity could be going for a long walk, a bike ride or a dance class. An example of vigorous activity could be things like a spin class, boxing or high intensity interval classes. You should also try to aim to do strengthening activities that work all the major muscle groups, for example, the legs, back, core, chest, shoulders and arms on at least two days per week. 
This can be achieved by lifting weights in the gym or again in a class or other outdoor activities that help strengthen our muscles. You should also try to reduce time spent sitting or lying down and break up long periods of not moving with some activity. If your work is sedentary, sat at a desk all day, then you need to get up and move from time to time. Take the stairs instead of the lift, walk to work instead of drive, or even on your lunch break, get up and move by going for a walk. It's important to find time to do activities. I always dismiss the thought of getting up an hour earlier to go to the gym before work. Now, personally, I get up early and exercise five to six times per week and I feel so much better for it. I'm more focused during the day. I don't have a chance to talk myself out of the workout. And let's face it, the last thing you will want to do once you've stepped through the front door and sat down after a long, hard day is to go back out again to exercise. If you can't exercise before work, do it straight after work before you get home and before you're relaxed for the evening. In my opinion, people who want to exercise will find the time to exercise. And again, you need to be patient. You will not lose a stone just because you've exercised for a week and eaten healthily for a week. Be consistent with both your nutrition and exercise will give you results. It takes about four weeks for your spouse to notice any visible changes eight weeks before your family will notice any visible changes and 12 weeks before the rest of the world will see any changes. What would you suggest to someone who wants to lose body fat, Rebecca? Rebecca answered, losing body fat can be a challenging process and different things work for different people. You have to find what works for you. But if you're looking to shed those extra pounds, here are a few things to consider. First and foremost, I believe a well-balanced diet plays a crucial role in losing body fat. You want to focus on consuming whole unprocessed foods like fruit, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains. Avoid sugary drinks and snacks can also make a significant difference. Additionally, portion control is key. Try using smaller plates or measuring your food to avoid overeating. Regular exercise is another pivotal aspect of losing body fat. Incorporate a mixture of cardiovascular exercises such as running, cycling or swimming, along with strength training to build lean muscle. Exercise not only burns calories, but also boosts your metabolism, making it easier to shed unwanted fat. Additionally, exercise will make you feel better both mentally and physically. In addition to diet and exercise, it's important to stay hydrated and get enough sleep. Drinking plenty of water helps to curb cravings and flush out toxins, whilst proper rest promotes optimal hormonal function and regulates appetite. Finally, it's crucial to set realistic goals and maintain a positive mindset throughout your journey. Losing body fat takes time and consistency, so be patient with yourself. Celebrate small victories and seek support from friends or online communities to stay motivated. Remember, losing body fat is a gradual process that requires a lifestyle change. By making healthier choices, you'll be on your way to achieving your weight loss goals and living a healthier, happier life. Okay, Rebecca, can you now provide us with some tips on how to exercise to lose weight, please? Rebecca answered, Firstly, choose activities you enjoy as it increases your chances of sticking with it and an exercise routine that suits your level of fitness. Whether it's cardio, strength training or a combination of both, consistency is key. Ultimately, a varied exercise programme works in the same way as a varied diet does. If you keep things interesting, you will see results. Cardio based exercises such as longer, slower running, and interval training have both had their place in my own personal weight loss journey. Group exercise classes are also another great form of cardio that I would recommend as they provide motivation and they are already programmed for you. It may just take out some of the guessing work. However, just like food, too much of something is bad and this is true in exercise for weight loss too. This is because your body adapts quickly to the type of exercise and plateaus, meaning your results may slow down. Resistance training, weights, has also been an outstanding benefit for my weight loss. As your body continues to burn calories for 72 hours after you've finished weight training, meaning it not only burns calories, but it also changes your body shape. Personally, I believe that a combination of both cardio 
and resistance training is the best way to help you lose body fat as it will increase your overall health and fitness as well as changing your body shape. Thank you, Rebecca. What would you say to someone who is asking how to lose weight fast? Rebecca answered, honestly, losing weight gradually and slowly is better both physically and mentally. I completely understand the desire to lose weight as fast as possible, but you need to ask yourself, how long do you want to keep the weight off for? Slow and steady wins the race. If you lose weight in small amounts consistency, by this I mean one to two pounds per week, you greatly increase the chance of being able to maintain the desired weight once you have achieved it. If you lose it too quickly, it is harder to sustain and you could result in putting all of your weight back on or even more weight back on. You need to let your mind adapt to the lifestyle changes you are making as well as your body. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Sustainability and consistency are key when it comes to both diet and exercise. Although, don't be afraid to include sprints into your exercise routine to lose weight, but only if you want to and you enjoy them, just like me. A big thank you to Rebecca for taking the time out to talk to me about the common question regarding ways to lose weight. It has really been insightful to receive Rebecca's views and gain her expert advice on losing weight by incorporating nutrition with exercise. The takeaway here is consistency is key, a lifestyle of moderation. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more blogs in the future and don't forget to subscribe to Study Active's YouTube channel. Also, check out our blogs and much more on our website, www.studyactive.co.uk. Thank you.